So uh, today we will introduce our Delta DVP PLC MOBUS rewrite function. And here we'll use our Delta PLC rewrite or uh, Delta ASTAR H3 uh, dash M. This one means a uh, can open type uh, servo drive as an example. So uh, you can see what we'll, uh, connect the IS485 up here. A uh, plus to our uh, pin uh, 13 and minus to 12 uh, to pin 12. Okay. Uh, 12 is our uh, IS485 or uh, minus and 13 is our uh, IS485 plus. And here you can see uh, for Delta DBP PLC, we have a serial and Ethernet or normally we'll say mobile TCP uh, communication. So this is the uh, uh, API uh, normally used. So uh, you can see we have uh, eyes. This means uh, serial communication and is used for non-standard mobile device. And the hardware, uh, we support eyes to 32 and 45. And we have a uh, mobile street, uh, MODRD. Uh, this one just uh, support a uh, mobile function called 03. Then we can read uh, multiple words. And for the hardware interface, for this one, uh, this four, uh, because uh, this for uh, instruction is for the uh, mobile serial, so you can see the hardware is all based on IS232 or 485. Uh, then uh, for mobile uh, Ethernet, we uh, I mean for the hardware is uh, RJ45. Uh, we have our uh, uh, mobile TCP rewrite, and also for the non-standard mobile TCP device, so we can send the message through a uh, this mobile TCP or UDP socket. Uh, then uh, below is the table for uh, mobile uh, function code. So you can see uh, for uh, function code one is a read uh, device and bit device and uh, zero three means a uh, word device and some uh, support uh, z uh, zero four. So today we will demo with a uh, function call uh, 03 and 06 means our uh, rewrite uh, words. Then uh, here is a uh, DVP period or uh, PLC or uh, serial port relevant information. And definitely you can use uh, this uh, special uh, flag and special data regist uh, register to to the setting, but uh, here we, uh, in, inside the ISP shop, we actually provide the function proxy so we can uh, implement this uh, protocol setting more easily. And regarding servo, uh, I think I ever uh, introducing uh, another chapter. So here uh, we set the servo uh, station number, not ID, to two, and we set the forward rate uh, 9600 and for the protocol is based on 7 even 1. Okay, so here first we uh, go to function block and the PLC we use is 12 SE. Okay, and we can include the function block and select the uh, com protocol. Um, because we use the IS485, we mean the serial port 2, so we select this one, press OK. So you will find this one already included to the project tree. And then we create a new uh, POU. And we can cut uh, the function block here. OK, and here you may have no idea how to fill in. So we just move our mouse here. So uh, because the protocol we and Bore will use a 9600 and 7 even 1. So here we just add, uh, keep the value 1. And for the data length is a 7, so we add 1. And parity check, uh, we use even. Stop it is 1. And uh, we do the communication in ASCII mode, so 
you know, use one, and you can define a, a, sta a station address. So, for example, now we give a 10. Then it's a timeout setting, and you can define in data register, or just give a simple uh, constant value. So if, for example, we give a 500 here, means the timeout setting is 500 millisecond, and you can define the error code. Let's go back in here. So here you will, may wonder uh, we have a com, uh, three com, I mean from com one to com three, but actually not all uh, DBP POC support a three zero port. Um, uh, mostly uh, we will definitely have a com one and com two. Okay, so you can see uh, normally com one and com two share the same uh, address, uh, D1, uh, 1121. Okay, so as you see here, uh, we can define the ASCII RTU mode and we can do the protocol setting. Okay, so let's go back here. And okay, so you can see uh, for the station here, it's uh, actually D1121. Okay, then here we will write the value to a uh, server. So uh, if you forget, then we go back here again. The uh, station number is two. And we will uh, write, so write the value. So here we can use the function code six. And we will write to, here we uh, give an address. We can define the address we want to uh, send the data. For example, the uh, 2000. Then we just read, uh, write one word. And then we will read the value uh, from server. Now we use the function call uh, three. Okay, so when uh, write this down, then we can uh, download the program. So make sure do the uh, correct uh, communication setting. Okay, so at the beginning, uh, we will write the value to uh, server. Uh, so for example, we will write to the position gain. So here we will use uh, position gain is our P, P2000. So the address is actually uh, in a hex, hex decimal. So we use a 200. And the value we want to write is a uh, 200 uh, decimal. Okay, so then we can come here and send the request. And now we will use uh, uh, a start to check 
Okay, so as you can see, now we write the value to 200. And then we will read the value from uh, back from servo. And we will read the same address. So now we figure this uh, break. But you will see why the value becomes so big because we just uh, write the uh, 200 okay so let's go back here and check you can see uh, for the value we receive is actually we are uh, set as a hex data in uh, D1296 uh, so let's open the device monitor table okay As you see, the value is not consist, so we will send a uh, command again because this one I think is not actually uh, execute. So now we will trigger the value again. Then uh, let's go back. So we can see now the value become uh, 200, and actually we can use the monitor the flag to check the status. Okay, so you see here, then uh, we might add a identify for the group program saver. Okay, so we will uh, do the right again. Okay, so as you see here, now we return. So the value will change, and we may wonder maybe this is not so accurate. So let's go here and modify the value again. Now we'll change the value to 300. Thank you.